Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of solving proportionalities. This is standard 6.5b in the great state of Texas and we're using item number 22 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a survey here, and this survey is asking 300 girls to name their favorite sport. And so the only other number we have here is that 12 girls showed bowling. And so what percentage, so we're going to need to change this into a percentage to show bowling. So that's going to be our important information here. So proportionalities are going to be important for us when we're dealing with three different components. We have a part, and we have a whole, and then we have the percent. And one of those is typically going to be missing. So in this case, let's see if we can figure out what we actually have here. As a part of a survey, 300 girls were named to ask their favorite sport. So this looks like our total. So we're going to call this our whole. So we're going to say 300 girls. I'm going to call that 300G. That's going to be our whole. Now we only have 12 girls showing bowling. So I'm going to put 12 girls. So that's a whole lot that did not like bowling. And so that's going to be our part. And so really all we need to do is to divide those two and we're going to get percent. Now how I set this ratio up, I could have done 12 to 300. I could have done it like with a colon. I could have done it like this with the word 2. But it's going to be very helpful for us to see it as a fraction like I set it up down here. Because it is not that difficult for us to turn a fraction. If we think of our proportion as our fraction, into a decimal and then from a decimal to a percent. So what we need to do here is we're going to need to divide up. There are two different options. I'll show you the, the long shore way and then I'll show you the shortcut later. But you can always divide up to change any fraction into a decimal because once we turn this into a decimal then it's pretty easy to turn it into a percent. So we're going to divide up and it's going to take us a little bit because 300 does not go into 12. Goes in there zero times. And let's see, so let's just going to bring down that 12 and let's just add some zeros here. Put that mark right there so that 300 does not go into 120. So we need to make sure we put another zero there. And even though we're not doing anything here, we need to go ahead and just do the long division like we've been taught just to make sure that we hit we have all of our zeros in the right spot. Now we're going to bring another zero down. You can add as many zeros as you need to after a decimal it doesn't change the value. Now we can do this. So 300 goes into 1200. Well look at this. Just ignore the two zeros and just look at the 3 and the 12. 3 goes into 12 four times. If we want to double check we can say 300 times 4 is going to be 1200. So there's our answer. It equals 0 0.4. Now 0 0.4, 0 0.04, excuse me, 4 hundredths, move it over twice, and that's how you get your percent. We can drop that off. So it is going to equal 4%. So our answer here is going to be F. Now that's the long way of doing it. You can always change a fraction. In this case, this is our ratio, our proportion, into a decimal by dividing up. But in this case, there is an easier way for us to do it. If you can ever get your fraction denominator to be uh, equivalent with either 10, 100, or 1,000, then you are golden because then you can just change that straight into a decimal. And I'm thinking this. What if I were to divide the top and bottom by 3? Equivalent fraction, because this is equal to 1, guess what you're going to get? 4 hundredths, which is equal to 4 hundredths, which is equal to 4%. So this is another way you could have solved it. 